What's up, Lost in Comics family? This is Chris, and welcome to a special review video. We are so excited about our new partnership with BCW Supplies. We can't contain ourselves, seriously. But I will contain myself for the video. We're going to give you a special review today on one of their most underrated and underappreciated products on the market, which I will tell you about in just a moment. But before we get into it, Make sure you subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Make sure you hit the like button if you like the video and you enjoy this review. Also hit the bell notifications so you get notified every time we go live on Thursdays and anytime we release new content. You don't want to miss out on what's happening here at Lost in Comics. Some great and exciting things are happening. Giveaways, creator interviews, comic book reviews, unboxings. I could just go on and on, but I'll stop. So here at Lost in Comics, it is our goal to not only give you amazing YouTube content, but we also want to keep you guys informed on what is available out there for you for comic book supplies. Again, how to take care of your comics, right? Because you can go buy the comics, but how do you take care of them? What do I store them in? What are my options to store them? What if I have a weird shelf? What if my wife doesn't want to see the books or my husband doesn't want to see the books? Well, if that is the case, I would recommend the comic book store folio. So, BCW is one of the premier, and again, if you ask me, the best comic book supply company in the world. Many of you guys are probably already using their products from the bag and boards, the short and long boxes that you get from your local comic book store, but I bet you many of you are not using the comic book store folio. So today I'm going to tell you a little bit about this product. And if you like what you hear and like what you see, I'd recommend going and buying one of these and putting them on your shelf immediately. So, first of all, you have a couple of options on the comic book store folio. You can get them in the nice, sleek, black color like this, which has a uh, plastic covering over the top that you could slide a comic book or a piece of art right here to display in the front. But it does tell us, comic book store folio holds up to 15 comics, front cover holds a comic or artwork, strong magnetic closure. That's important. Next, we have the beautiful store folios with the comic art on the covers. So not only do these have art on the covers, but they also have internal art, which I will show you here in just a moment. But I can tell you one thing, whichever one of these that you choose, whether you go with the plain black look or with the one with the art, you will not be disappointed on how sleek these look. There are some things to consider before you purchase the comic book store folio, such as size, which is 11 by 8 by 2 inches. So whatever shelf that you have these on, you want to make sure you give yourself at least 12 inches of clearance so that the store folio can slide in and out. Next, the comic book store folio will hold up to 12 comic books bag and boarded. Now, if for some reason you are not bag and boarding your comics with BCW bags and boards, shame on you. I'm just kidding. I will not shame you. But if for some reason you're not bag and boarding your comics, which you should, this will hold up to 15 comics unbagged and unboarded. But again, if you are doing as you should, bag and boarding your comics, this will hold 12 comic books, as you can see here. You can also use these for trade paperbacks. You can hold up to five trade paperbacks in a store folio with ease. Another thing that I really enjoy about the store folio is the durability of this product. And I'm just going to show you right here. I have one here. This is called the darkness. Look at this. So the durability, right? Obviously you don't want to throw these on the ground. That would be stupid, but you could drop this a time or two and it would be okay. Cause these things are very durable. I'm going to show you a little bit here. This is the front. You have art in the front, art in the back. Then you have the spine where you have the darkness, the darkness, and then you have the magnetic clip that opens and then it snaps. You hear that? It's got a magnet in there so it snaps when you close it. So let's take a look on the inside. You got a beautiful full page spread, right? So you got more artwork on the inside. And then when you look down here, this is where you actually store the comics, right in that area. Again, 12 bag and boarded or five trade paperbacks. So if you're looking to purchase one of these, you can go to the BCW website, which we will have a link for in the description below. These plain black ones are going to run you about $11.99 each, and these with the art will run you $16.99. You're going to pay a little bit more, but I just showed you how beautiful the art is in this. And I'm pretty sure if you buy it, you are not going to regret it because these things are beautiful. Of course, those prices are right now at the time of recording this video. BCW can change their prices at any time, but there you have it, $11.99 for the plain one, $16.99 for the ones with the art. 
Always be sure you check the BCW website because they do run a lot of sales. Uh, as a matter of fact, when I was recording this, there was a sale on the comic book store folio. So go check that out right away if you are interested in purchasing one of these. I'm telling you guys, the comic book store folio is the way to go if you're trying to hide your books from your wife. I'm just kidding, guys. But seriously, the BCW comic book store folio is a great way to store your comic books if you're looking for a sleek, stylish way to store your comics. I am personally using the store folio along with my trade paperbacks, and it fits beautifully, as you can see here. And I have no regrets. These things are beautiful, and they go perfect on my shelf. So there you guys have it. Again, there will be a link in the description below if you want to go purchase one of these bad boys. And if you enjoyed this video, make sure you hit the thumbs up. Make sure you're subscribed to the channel. Again, we go live every Thursday where we get lost in an incredible world of creator interviews, comic reviews, comic banter, unboxings, and pretty much everything comics. Oscar and I love comic books and we love talking about them. So make sure you join us on Lost in Comics Thursday. Also, don't forget to follow us on social media. Those links will be down below as well. We are on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. Also, leave us a comment in the comment section below. Let us know if the review was helpful. And if you do purchase these, let us know how it goes for you. That's going to be it for me today. I will see you guys next time on Lost in Comics. Peace.